It's been almost one month now since the Michelle Traconis trial began. Over the 20 days of testimony, the jury has heard from dozens of witnesses and seen mountains of evidence in the disappearance and death of Jennifer Farber Dulos. But Traconis has maintained her innocence from the very beginning. This is Eva Zamaris has been in the courtroom every day and gives us a look at the trial so far. We are trusting these uh, fair trial. And for the record, she was displaying what appears to be the front of the shirt. Oh, Much of this, again, has nothing to do with Michelle Traconis. January 11th, 2024. It's the matter of State of Connecticut versus Michelle Traconis. Michelle Traconis' trial began. She's been charged with conspiracy to commit murder, hindering prosecution, and tampering with evidence. If I knew he wasn't going to sell the car, I would not even walked into that car. It's alleged she conspired with her then-boyfriend, Fotis Dulos, before investigators say he attacked and killed his estranged wife, Jennifer Farber Dulos, on May 24, 2019. But she's denied any knowledge or involvement from the start. The second I called Jennifer, it's like my stomach just sank. Over the course of this trial, the state's laid out how it turned from a missing persons case to murder investigation. There's some back here too. Through the lens of police. We were able to pick up pictures or video rather of Jennifer Dulos' vehicle leaving in the morning and returning and then leaving for a second time and not returning and through cameras across the state, which captured their movements on the day Jennifer disappeared, including this one from Hartford, showing who appears to be Michelle and Fotis making stops and dumping bags along Albany Avenue. In the event that the trash got picked up, um, got uh, meddled with, I don't know. I wanted to have someone out there as soon as possible. The emotion was palpable inside the courtroom when items from those bags were taken out. Zip ties, ponchos, gloves, razor, and what's believed to be Jennifer's clothing. With respect to the front of the bra, is there a cut going down the middle of it? There is. Forensic experts who specialize in blood, DNA, and fingerprint testing comb through the evidence found in the bags at the Farmington Mansion Fotis and Michelle shared in Jennifer's home and their cars. There's no place in New Canaan or in that suburban that has Michelle Traconis's DNA. The jury's heard from Michelle herself. Do you know where she is? And can you please tell us or at least lead us in the right direction? Through her interrogation videos, where she's pressed on her whereabouts, what she knows, and the timeline she wrote out. Seven, uh, West Hartford Starbucks. And from those who were working directly with the Dulos family at that time, the children's nanny, Lauren Almeida. We told the police that a mother of five was missing and that she was in a very contentious divorce. And Fotis's employee, Pavel Gumieni, whose truck investigators say Fotis took down to New Canaan. He testified Fotis insisted he get the truck detailed and swap out the seats. He keep on saying, like, you got to do it. You, 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 can you do it? The trial is expected to last a few more weeks. One of the biggest questions remains, will Traconis testify? We haven't gotten an answer yet from her attorney, but he's pointed out that her story is already out there through her hours long interviews with the police, where she repeats that she doesn't know what happened. Eva Zamaris, News 8.